listening to you. <laughs> Second down and eight from the 30. Brady to the end zone, and it's incomplete. Brown was there. Well, floating Jones covering on the play. Third and eight. Yeah, it looked for a minute like Antonio Brown had no idea where that ball was. He did. Those sort of high sky balls have been a play that Antonio Brown's made a lot, just stopping on a dime and coming back, but he yeah. never saw it. I think that ball was going to be in a spot where he could have caught it if he just did his normal flip around. And Brady went, what? Yeah. Meanwhile, Jones, you saw Jones covering that he went out again. And now you've got a play. Well, they put Bethel in the game for one play, and they went right after him on third down before. So, yes, I would say the answer is probably yes. But he had to use a timeout in that situation just to make sure that Jones didn't have to come out of the game because he was ready to go to the sideline. Because if they pick up this first down, it's not going to matter anyway. They'll be able to manipulate the clock, kick a field goal at the end of it, and hopefully have their walk-off win if you're a Bucs fan. Can they pick up a 10th third down conversion tonight? Brady with time. Brady to the end zone, and that is not caught. Man bounds. Jones covering on the play. Antonio Brown was there. Couldn't stay in. How about that on third and seven? You go for it all down the field, and that was close. Jonathan Jones, they go right after him. They realize that he was hurting a little bit. Oh, that was really close. We've seen yeah. him make that catch a whole bunch of times. So now a field goal attempt. 